too blessed to be stressed. I'm sure you've heard that before. It has some new meaning to me. As some of you may know, I had a heart attack a couple weeks back that apparently should have killed me. The doctors say things like, normally we don't get to operate on people like you. We normally take them straight to the morgue. Or they called it a widow maker. My, one of my main arteries to my heart was 95% blocked and we caught it just in time. So here I am, alive. I can't even comprehend what it would be like to not be here right now with a family of five kids and a wife to take care of, provide for. So I take this opportunity to look at the blessings in my life because some of the factors that can contribute to heart attack are stress and worry and anxiety. And as a real estate agent with five kids, you have a lot of those things. Now I handle them well, or at least I thought I did. I have a strong faith that keeps me grounded and I do not fear death. But I do worry about what would happen to my kids if I wasn't here to protect them. It's a crazy world we live in. So I just want to look at the things in my life that are a blessing. You know, when I look around and I see people walking, and then I see people in wheelchairs, I can't imagine not being able to walk. Or people who lose their their vision, or their sense of taste. All of these things we take for granted. We complain about things that don't matter. And when you're laying in a hospital bed, being told that you might die, all those little things that you had on your mind that you were worried and stressed about, go away. They don't matter. So how do we live like that every day? <clears throat> Sometimes these near-death experiences <clears throat> excuse me, can actually help give us perspective. And you've all heard it before. People who have come close to death have had a re- renewed you know, purpose in life or view on life. But do we really need to experience that to go there? I think we just need to look at our lives and realize just how good we got it. Even though Canada's crazy and probably heading into crazier times, if you've been to some other places in the world, people would leave those places to come here in a heartbeat. People would trade their sickness for your sickness any day. So be thankful, be grateful that you're alive and make your life count. They say you only live once. And it's true. On this earth plane, we live one time in the physical and we have the chance to contribute to a better place or just use this place for our own self. But I'll tell you, it's way more life-giving and amazing to be a blessing than to receive a blessing. When you can help people and love people, even if you don't agree with their decisions politically, medically, whatever. We, we argue about everything and our media is controlling us to be continually arguing with each other. So I just encourage you to be able to look past a disagreement with a friend or family member and love them for the human being they are. We are not human robots. We are not animals. We are beings. And we have purpose here. And you only have maybe a hundred years at best. And the way things are going probably lucky to make it to 70 at this point. So make the most of your life. Be grateful. Try to get rid of those stresses in your life that don't matter. And seize the day. <clears throat>